In this video, I'm going to show you how the email feature works in Brightspace. So right now, in the upper right-hand corner of my screen, above my navbar, I have the mini navbar, which has the um, alert messages, the um, subscription alerts, so if you subscribe to a discussion, and then there's um, just updates and alerts for each one of your courses. So the email is this one right here, and this, right, this orange dot is telling me that I have an alert, so I actually have an email message in here. So if I go and click on that envelope, I can actually see previously sent messages, and I can go into this, I can click on one, okay, and right now it doesn't look like I have anything, but if I grab this bottom section here, I can drag it down, and I can see the different emails that I've received. So if I click on one of those emails, I might need to bring this back up again so I can actually read the message that I received. Okay, so right now, if you receive a message from somebody, you want to come, um, even if it goes out to your um, T Wolf's email, you want to come back into Brightspace, call up the message, and this is where you're going to reply from this message. Okay, now, and the reason why I want to show you that email message that I'm looking at right now. I've got it in my um, email, my college email account, but it looks like this. You're going to notice two things. On the bottom of the email that I've got, it tells me that I can't reply here, okay? And the reason why is if you look up here, you can see that it was from me, but um, it has a generic email address at the top. So if I reply to this, it will try to send it back to this, and it really can't be sent to anybody because of um, the generic email. So if you do reply to um, an email from your T-Wolves, or in my case from my Outlook, um, it's just going to go out in the cloud and never be received by the um, person that sent it to you. So you want to come back into the um, email, find the email, and then once you see the email on your screen, you'll see that there's an option to reply. So this is where you would go in and actually reply um, to an email sent through Brightspace, okay? Now, if you want to send an email to somebody, um, more than likely it's going to be, um, you know, one of the instructors in your courses. So I'm going to go back down here, and I'm going to go into um, a task course. So what you can do is you can go into your course tools and roster. And by the roster, you'll be able to tell who your instructor is by their role in the course. So if you want to email your instructor through Brightspace, you can just come in here, select the line that the email, or the instructor's name is on, and then just hit the email option. It automatically will go out to that person and then you can put a subject line in so you can change that you can leave it as showing the course name which wouldn't be a bad idea and then put your message in there and send it and the instructor will get that as a notification up here on their email and they will also get it to their college email so that they know that um, you're trying to reach out to three, reach out to them so really what you should be doing is um, if you're communicating, you want to go into Brightspace to communicate. Now, if, for an example, you knew your instructor's email address, you can go out to your college email, put their email address, and if they've included like in their syllabus or somewhere in their course, you can copy and paste that in and send an email. Just be aware that if you're sending it from your college email, they have no idea what course um, you're taking from them. So make sure you include, um, you know, what course it is, even what section you're in, um, and be specific about, you know, why you're reaching out to them, okay? So that's how the email feature works in Brightspace.